have engagement studio complex rules. And what these are are rule steps that combine multiple prospect attributes. Right, so I'm gonna break that down. In Engagement Studio, we have rule steps that narrow down prospects as they go through the program. So everyone starts at the top, and then you want to start segmenting people out according to different attributes. So that could, for example, be um, they're part of a list, or they have a certain field value, or they have a tag, a specific tag. So this then helps us get more targeted with the actions that follow each pathway. So not only can we get better with segmentation inside of Pardot, it's a great opportunity to clean up the Engagement Studio programs we're running. As you can see, I've put in a comparison here, which I've called the old way. Before we could only have one attribute per rule step. So then we had to have multiple layers in order to get the segmentation that you wanted. But now you can actually just combine these into one neat rule. And as you can see, it's only one layer. This prevents engagement studios going a little bit crazy with how they um, bloat out And the great thing is that there's no setup effort involved. I'm just going to show you, talk through this one example of how we can use um, a complex rule step. So choose, like you would with any rule, just choose the, the, the rule that you want to put in, the criteria. So I've decided that I'm going to use the city field. Then I've pressed add new condition and it opens up the opportunity for me to add another field value in there. So this time I'm going to use the industry field and choose manufacturing, for example. And it really is as simple as that. So I've just shown you a use case where we can start sending, say, targeted invites to an event to all of your manufacturing customers in Manchester. Another example would be you want to do some follow up from a booth you had at, a, at, a, at an event. So you would use the booth scans list and you can separate it out based on product interest. So you're only sending them the content that they've shown interest in. Another example is sales calling campaigns. A lot of organizations use sales calls campaigns to add leads for BDRs to call through. And the BDR may change that person's status in the campaign to, you know, not, not uh, didn't pick up or left voicemail. And these people can actually be picked up by marketing and what's typical of an account-based marketing approach also is to get really targeted with someone's department so here we can say anyone that has a certain campaign member status in that calling campaign and they're part of the marketing team let's send them down this pathway to to give them a different journey than say someone in the procurement team. The one gotcha I will stress is I went in the first time to create a complex rule and I was baffled because I couldn't find it. This is because it's just a normal rule step and then once you press add condition that's when it converts into a complex rule step. So just to make people aware that you first of all go to create a rule step and transform it into a complex rule step after.